All right, so for our batching station projects, we uh, basically are adding stuff in now. Um, now, I, just keep in mind, I'm adding the, I just added pipe segments. So if you add a pipe segment like this, you can extend the length like that. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm gonna take that out though. Uh, so we'll remove that component. This right here is going to be a uh, pipe joint and at this right here you can click and then at the very bottom you can choose you know do you want top do you want right uh, do you want bottom and we don't want bottom we don't care about left we really just want to try to get up here right um, and th so then there's that um, now as far as the pipe segments go Like you can, you can draw it out just like that if you need it in like a vertical, right? So you can, you can do that and then come over here and paste it just like this because it, that's what I found to be a little bit easier um, as far as, you know, design elements go, right? Um, let's just see that doesn't seem to be the right size. So let's take it just right there. There we go. And what we can do is just drag this down just a little bit and drag this down just a little bit so that it's in the tank. And we'll do the same thing for this over here is we'll just draw it, right? So get it to proper length, get it down the scale, move it. And then if it's not exactly perfect, I mean, I'm a big, big believer in trying to get things right. So you can use this, uh, you can obviously, you know, use the uh, zoom and then get it just about right. So I think that's right. It just needs to be moved over. So let's see if we can just move it over a little bit. All right, so that's not exactly right. So there we go, a uh, little bit more. And you, you can use parameters. I mean, you can use your properties for this too as well. So this one isn't 100% perfect either. So, but again, you know, coming in here, you know, uh, adjusting things like that, center fills and stuff like that. So you can, you can do that. This right here is just, again, me fine tuning things. And again, when it comes out to it, you can see the transition It's not exactly perfect. I'm not a big fan of that, so let's let's get it a little bit better. And then, being that this is the right size, we copy. Let's see if we can. It will allow us. It won't allow us to copy. So let's go ahead and add another segment in here. So just click on it, and then come over here and oh, let's put that back. So click on it, and then come over here and add it in here just like this again proper length proper width I should say and are at least close enough right for what we're doing but I'm trying to make this um, pretty pretty close to what it was and the actual batching station so uh, the actual batching station project that I did for um, factory talk so what we need to do too is come over here and add another tag, which this is gonna be browse devices. And again, come over here to devices, batching, and we're going to go to global tags. And this should be the mixing, I believe it's the tank, let's see. I might've called it finished product or something yeah finished product tank there we go and then so i add that in the finished product tank and i grab and just drag it over so grab drag and display numeric um, again we want to have a tank um, this tank obviously is going to be for that um, now let me check my program and see if the mixing tank the mixing tank level um let's see mix, mixing tank level so again this is something that oh yeah finished product routine let's see 
Let's see, mixing tank, mixing routine. See if I, I did it in there. And cooling. This is down to right here. Uh, let's just see, it should be tank sim though. Uh, finished product tank, yeah. So let's put this as 50. And we can change the ranges of this too, right? So what what are the ranges? What are the capacities, right? So the capacity, honestly, uh, what this is, these are done in zero to 100, each one of these. This, this tank itself was done uh, at a value of, this uh this this tag right here or this tank right here with the max value i believe was 3500 so we can put 30 or let's just say 5000 right and then so we can change the, it what it does is adds all the components that we add as, as far as that goes and then it gives the finished product so it's generally like i don't know close to 1200 or something and then that shows that right there. So see, we still have an issue with this because the value capacity right here, I said 500 instead of 5,000. So you can see right there it works. So now we have that and then we have one more tank. Um, actually the finished product tank is actually over here. Finished product tank is actually over here and that means the mixing tank is what I need to add. So the mixing tank come over here come over here and add this in here and i believe i'm not sure let's see it should be mixing tank level but i'm not a hundred percent sure yeah so mixing tank mixer mixing tank tolerance mixing tank weight um let's look at the mixing tank so this is finished product and we'll go into tags and then we'll say mixing mixing tank and then we'll go to monitor mixing tank weight and look at where this is just to make sure that that is where I use that so the flow yep that is correct okay so this is going to say the mixing tank weight all right so what we'll do is we'll put the mixing tank weight in here and we'll come in here and scale that again so we'll hit apply add that and this is going to be dragging this in to our application and again it's just a tank so we have a tank right here and then we're going to scale that tank okay we're going to say the capacity is 2,000 pounds okay currently the capacity of it right now is zero and then there's there's piping that goes uh, from here to here and then so what we can do is add a joint right here and then again down here at the, we don't want we don't want left we don't want bottom we just want that right there and then we can put a pipe segment in there and have that go all the way over here and then another joint and then at this one what we'll do is we will not have the right and we will not have the bottom and then again we'll come in and do our drawing for our vertical and place that in there just like that and we need to do the same thing here right so let's do our drawing for our vertical paste that in there just like that and get the actual size to go up to the tank okay, that's pretty close and we need one more pipe joint and this one what we'll say we can actually shorten this down and bring that into here like this and say we do not need 
the top we do not need the left so what I want to do is actually scoot this over enough where it connects and that way you can see that it, it will gradually go into that tank and we can we can even move the tank just just a hair right I mean we are talking about in HMI graphics I mean this is a, this is how you're editing right so we basically have our 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 piping and our tanks and stuff that are actually in the system you know these being the uh, basically the ingredients this being the mixing tank and this being the finished product tank so with that said um, and again we can put in uh, displays for this too so the mixing tank weight we can put in a display numeric value uh, that's the current weight uh, for the finished product tank we can put a display in there for that and you can see just the weights and stuff like that of what is the current weight and then we can obviously play that and see how it looks at this point we'll save because we will continue this project but I just wanted to show you how graphically you can just add stuff and again I'll probably come in here and critique this stuff a little bit better you know as far as like piping size to get it see if I can get it absolutely perfect um, but again, I don't want to bore you on that. So with that said, hopefully you learned a lot as far as like how to do and add things and, and stuff like that as far as uh, inside using the Ignition Designer. Um, the, again, this is your HMI side of things when it comes to it. So hopefully, again, you, you learned a lot from at least seeing, you know, the little, little bit that I did here, right? So I figured, you know, why not make a you know a, a small little graphic of what the the old system used to look like and then again have it saved and then reduce it back down so with that said hopefully you learned a lot from that video and we'll see you guys on the next one